Special thanks to the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino. They did something very special for us. Stay tuned to find out what. Hey everybody, welcome to Recordology. Okay, we just got back last night from Las Vegas, Nevada. We went out to CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, a yearly mega event, one of the biggest conferences in the world, to check out all the latest and greatest tech. You're not going to want to miss this. This is Recordology. Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Welcome to fabulous Las Vegas. We are out at CES, the Consumer Electronics Trade Show, one of the biggest trade shows in the world where all of the new tech comes out, all the new video game consoles, all the new TVs, and yes, record players as well. So we are here for the whole week checking out the latest and greatest, and they've got all kinds of cool stuff, you guys. Everything from video games to projection to smart cars and everything in between, and you're going to get an exclusive look at all of that. Check out these cool, cool arcade games. These full-size or three-quarter size arcade games were huge this year. I know I've seen some of these popping up at like Walmart lately, which is really, really cool. And um, you know, it really brings you back to that 80s arcade feel. This is a cool thing right here. So this is a pinball machine, but the pinball table is actually a flat panel display. Here's one of the 4D screen experiences, and here's a very expensive Bluetooth speaker. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to see more of any of this stuff, make sure to check out the lives that we did this week. We did a bunch of lives where we just walked the trade show floor. I put together the best of the best for this show um, in HD for you guys to be able to see exactly you know, what was the coolest, according to you know my perspective, of what was out there. A lot of audiophile speakers. This was over 20 different venues, 175,000 participants. It was huge. And here we are at Audio Technica, some moving magnetic cartridges, which, you know, they're known for. That's, you know, what they do. Uh, it's definitely an electronics company that makes, you know, high order electronics, especially the headphones and the cartridges. And of course, they've got record players, which you're going to see here in a second. So uh, here are the LP60s the new LP60Xs, and they have the different colors, and they're just an awesome, awesome starting point. They've got headphones here where we can listen to them. Here's the LP3s. I love my LP3. I think it's great. There's a white one and then a black one like we have. Just beautiful. Phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Basically an LP60 with a little bit more control, and you can uh, replace the cartridges and, and uh, set the tone arm weight. The LP120s. Always a venerable thing and an ongoing favorite. Now these are the LPW30 and 40, which are really nice units. But this right here, my friends, is the brand new LPW50, which is their brand new turntable this year. It does feature the same uh, cartridge as the other units with the green tip. This one they put a black one on. It has a carbon fiber tone arm, piano black finish. It's just beautiful. There's the LP7, a gorgeous unit. I would love to review this at some point in the year. Over here we have the LP140 XP as well as the 1240 USB XP as well. So some really, really cool units there. I just love Audio-Technica turntables. Most of these are hand pin. The LPW3040 and 50 are not, but hand pin builds these to Audio-Technica specifications. And here are some of the super high-end cartridges. You can see the prices on the wall there, 650 bucks. To me, that's high-end. I know there's a lot of more expensive ones. And here's a look at the overall booth. They kind of had this in the back. Their headphones were up front, uh, but just a gorgeous display. Okay, going into another one of the many halls here. It just goes on for literally miles and miles and miles. We're just going to jump down into it. Some of this will be record player related. Some won't. Here's a robot that plays ping pong with you, which, again, where else are you going to see something like this? It's just super, super cool. There's everything under the sun you could imagine here. And some scooters. Now, it's really loud there. How loud is it? It's that loud. And that's why we're just doing the voiceover, because it was just too loud uh, to do much audio on the floor. Here's a display, a tree made out of display. It's really cool. And here's some music. And here we are at the Victrola booth. I was super excited to see this, and it did not disappoint in terms of what was there. It was fantastic. It was huge. And I'm just going to go down the line here and show you every which thing. The only downside is 
we weren't able to meet with the rep. Um, they had said they wanted to meet with us, and when it came time to do so, they weren't available, unfortunately, which was a big bummer because we really, really wanted to uh, meet their acquaintance in person and you know to talk about some of the things coming up. So I'm not sure you know how much we'll be doing with Victrola going forward. I hope we do a lot, uh, but the equipment was beautiful. It's a very open display. It's a lot of space. They have so many products. They have radios. They have record players. They have turntables and everything in between. Speakers, even furniture. It was just phenomenal. I love these, by the way. These are really cool. They're like uh, vintage-looking Victrolas, and some of them have like the little uh, metallic pickup like this. Check this out. And I was always curious how heavy is that. It was feather light. I cannot believe how light they make that. It's just a shell of very, very light plastic. But it looks cool. It looks fantastic. You can't deny that. This was probably the most striking unit. It had the horn on top. And I'm proud of them because they didn't just make it a decorative thing. There is a tweeter in there. So the tweeter, as you know, will direct the sound. That's where you think you're hearing it from is where the high end is coming from. Every color you can imagine a suitcase player. That's the bread and butter for entry level. And just so many different things, you guys. When it comes to colors and patterns, shapes and sizes, there are a million and one different ways. The mechanisms are pretty much the same. These are the ceramic cartridge units uh, and suitcases of every size and order imaginable. They have, however, a lot of other cool stuff as well, which we're going to look at in just a minute. But before we do that, check out this one on the end here. This is like this blue suede uh, finish, which was amazing, I thought. Blue suede shoes right there. Very, very cool. Here's one of their jukeboxes. This one actually has uh, a record player in it. It plays a single record. There's the mini one we had. Uh, as well as the uh, retro uh, all-in-one unit there that we reviewed in a different color as well. Here is a shot of Corey, who's the CEO of Innovative Technologies, which is the parent company of Victrola. And some very, very cool kind of 80s themed stuff is what we're going to look at in a minute. Here are more of their higher end turntables. And these are super cool. Good build quality and some novelty items as well, including this little miniature uh, 7 inch record player. And here is a room where they had some more of their Wi-Fi related stuff, Bluetooth enabled as well, and kind of mid-range uh, record players in this space as well. This unit was very, very cool. They also kind of show, as does Crosley coming up in a bit, you know, how these pieces can fit into your decor, how they would fit into, you know, your environment, which was neat to see. It gives you some ideas of how you might display them. It's important to know that Crosley and Victrola are lifestyle brands. They are not electronics companies. And unfortunately, so many people judge them on the basis of electronics only. And they don't realize that it's about the lifestyle aspect. What does that mean? That means that you're buying something for the aesthetic, for the style, and not just the technology. Okay, here we go. LG's got this beautiful curved display thing. It was amazing. They would switch this out with uh, different screens and whatnot, and it was just absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the entrances. Here's one of many, many, many race cars on display for various purposes. There was race cars and just cool cars in general. Bosch had this really cool kind of omnibus out there. Here's the Panasonic area. This was a cool, uh, popular technology, see-through displays. This is a 90-inch flat panel see-through display. You could walk behind it. Delta had this cool robot thing that would help you lift heavy weights. And that was really neat to see. People were trying that out as well. Now, this is really, really cool. Here's Ion's display. They have a licensing agreement with Ford that allows them to produce some really cool kind of Mustang and car-related looking record players, as well as these sort of 80 silver boom boxes, which are huge. And let me tell you guys, that's what's coming up this year. There's going to be a lot of tapes, a lot of 80s boom boxes. It was an absolutely huge thing this year, as was the wireless earbuds and 8K displays. Those were the big ticket items. So here's the Ion line of turntables. You know, you've seen a lot of these. They kind of have their unique curved lid. Their new one is down here on the end, and it features uh, speakers that are down there on the lower side. I think it looks really cool, actually. Uh, the lighting is tough because of the back lighting. But back over to these Ford uh, licensed record players. I love the knobs in the front. They look like headlights, and even the glass is uh, designed to look like headlight glass. All right, here we are at the Crosley booth. This was amazing. As you can see, there's the truck, the Crosley Cruiser, and that was closed to everybody 
but us because here we are up in the top of the booth, by the way. This is an exclusive area. But Jason from Crosley gave us an exclusive backstage pass and allowed us to take a look inside the Crosley Cruiser. And they tour this all over the place. And it was really neat to be able to see inside. A very, very special peek behind the curtain. A lot of record players. They go to, you know, different events, uh, band events, record store events, and things of that nature. And we got an exclusive peek. And not everybody, not I didn't see anybody else actually doing this, so it was very special to see inside. All right, here we are, Recordology out at CES 2020, and I am here with Jason from Crosley. And uh, where are we? What is this space we're in right now? So right now we're in the Crosley Cruiser. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> it's named after our, you know, kind of flagship uh, suitcase turntable, the one that pays the bills, Crosley Cruiser. Um, it is a 20-foot box truck. It used to be a bread delivery truck that we converted into essentially a mobile record store. Uh, so we take this thing to uh, music festivals, local festivals. We've done East Coast tours with this uh, in collaboration with Dogfish Head. Uh, we did a uh, booze and vinyl book tour, a 10-stop book tour uh, with those guys. Uh, so yeah, this, uh, we just cool. take these things out to a bunch of Excellent. So what's new at the show this year? What's new products? Uh, I mean, so we have a bunch of uh, products that we're working on in our little like secret room. Mm -hmm. uh, so basically, essentially what happens is when we come to shows like this is uh, we have all the products we've been working on, products in development, new colorways, uh, sort of uh, in like secret rooms. And uh, you know, the buyers from Urban Outfitters, Target, Barnes & Noble, all of our retailers come cool. in, we show them the new stuff, they tell us what they like, mm -hmm. uh, what they don't like, and then when we get back um, to Louisville, uh, we'll just have a big like sales meeting and marketing okay. meeting, and um, you know, they're like, you know, everyone seemed to like this color, right, everyone right. seemed to not like this product. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we have a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, uh, but main, the main thing we're focusing on out on the floor this year is an extension of our like mini line. Okay. So uh, you're familiar with the RSD3, yep. mm -hmm. uh, which we launched last Market Store Day. Um, so in March we're launching a mini edition cool. of our cruiser. That's cool. Uh, so um, it's it's different in the sense that it has two speakers mm -hmm. instead of a little one right. one inch speaker. So it's stereo uh, and it has Bluetooth out. Okay. Uh, in addition to, I mean, I guess it has a headphone jack too, so you can wire it if you want yeah, to stay yeah. true, uh, or uh, connect it to Bluetooth really speakers. Cool. Now, what do people, with showing the, is there anything that's surprising you that's showing a lot of interest and in, people are showing a lot of interest in this year? Uh, I mean, I mean that little like mini room out there, you should get some footage of it. Okay. Like the little mini room out there, like I mean people are taking pictures of that thing and like cool. drawn to that thing all day long. It's kind of funny though, because like in the pictures you can't tell that it's a mini room. So right, right, right. You almost have to put like your phone next to it or something. Yeah, for so, scale, because the mini couches, mini chairs. Yeah. That's cool. So that um, uh, people are oh we're actually. They're in stock now, but we're re-releasing our cassette players, the oh, CT100 cool. and 200, but with Bluetooth now. Oh, nice. Because okay. um, those like outperform, I mean, mm -hmm. those exceeded our expectations when, nice. we, when we launched the okay. cassette players. Cool. Uh, so we actually have a bunch of cassette stuff in the works, yeah. too, for That's 2020 cool. and beyond. Um, from like new boomboxes to exploring like yeah. uh, smaller Walkmans and Excellent. stuff. Excellent. Um, but yeah, and the, the vinyl jukeboxes, they're... Those are neat. They're, they're ahead really of the show. Cool. That's really yeah. cool. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate yeah. it. New this year is a collaboration piece with Sesame Street. Check out the platter mat, you guys. Cookie Monster. How can you not love this? I mean, that is fun. And that's what this is all about, you guys. It's about fun. Here we've got their signature wall of spinning cruisers. It just looks awesome. I love it. I love it. We're going to walk down the line here. Now, he spoke about the secret room. I got to go in that secret room, you guys, and I got to see... All the latest and greatest things that are coming out, some that are in development. I got to see prototypes, all kinds of cool stuff. Obviously, they wouldn't let me take pictures in there, but I can tell you there's some amazing things coming out this year, not the least of which is the mini system, uh, the little mini turntable. We're going to take a look at that in a minute. I did get footage of that for you, but their booth is cool. It's warm. It's inviting. It's probably the best designed booth at CES, in my opinion. These jukeboxes that they make are phenomenal. They're partnered with a company from the UK, I believe, to build these, and they're high quality, 
They just look good. You can tell. I mean, it's metal and glass. This one is a dual-sided 45 RPM stylus, which is awesome. I love it. Just watching this stuff work is like clockwork. Um, so, yeah, a lot of the products we've seen, the T400s, please put a metal platter on there, you guys. Uh, it would be a great unit if they did that, as well as everything under the sun. There's the C8. We've reviewed that. And um, just some phenomenal stuff. That's a newer version of a turntable that's coming out this year right there on the end. I forget what it's called. C100, C200 as well. This is a new one that they've come out with. It actually changes 12-inch RPM or LPs, and it fits, t uh, I believe, 10 uh, LP records in there, which is really cool. This was brand new this year as well. A gorgeous piece of equipment. And here is another jukebox. I just love the lights, the color, the fun. Now here's the mini, the mini uh, record player. This is the mini cruiser. So it's a three inch record player. Uh, like you said, with stereo speakers, you can get the little mini carrying case for your mini three inch records. I got to meet the gentleman and spend some time with him that helped design this product originally back for Bandai back in 2002 when they built the original 8-band record player, same company, and there was some recent interest shown by some executives that were very intrigued by this technology, and they've re-released it as the RSD3, and now the, the new Crosley Cruiser Mini, which is awesome, and I can't wait to see that. So here we are. This is a different booth, not Crosley. This is an interesting suitcase player that has actual wood, which was really interesting. Here's one of the many light-up Bluetooth speaker stacks. This is by Edison. A lot of brands were licensed only like RCA doesn't even make their own products they just are a licensing company anymore here we are filming where we're not supposed to be filming uh, at the Jensen area a lot of these products were functioning record players some of them weren't like this one is a prototype unit they actually gave us permission later to go back and film really cool just really cool designs and hopefully we can work with them in the future to review some of these products and you know demo them I would love an opportunity to show you up close and personal and we'll see how they sound, see what they, how they work, and all that good stuff. And uh, but just a plethora of record players. If you want a record player, there's one out there. Any shape, size, color, and specialty under the sun, they have it. Just super cool. And to see all this in one place, I was just giddy with excitement. I was like a kid in a candy store. Here's some more products. Got to play with the little record washer there, which was really cool. Look at that orange one. Isn't that unique looking? And a lot of them still have the ceramic cartridges. Some of them have the magnetic ones. Obviously, I like it when they have the magnetic ones as well. Tapes, guys, they're huge this year. They're going to be huge. Boom boxes. So many ghetto blaster boom boxes on the market. And novelty items, which I love the novelty items. In fact, our business card says, you know, one of the things we specialize in are novelty items, which are just fun. That's, you know, what it's all about. It's about the fun as well as some more higher-end component record players and turntables, you know, if you're so inclined. Here's one with another Audio-Technica cartridge on it. Interesting counterbalance on it as well. I'm going to show you some of the controls. It's got onboard USB, and here's some floor-standing units, and some really cool retro personal CD players and radios. I just thought this stuff was super, super cool. Canon had this really interesting thing where they had this guy dancing in these, like, with these wings on this like pink outfit and you could uh, obviously use their cameras to test out their lenses and and different things of that nature okay guys here was a big hot item the sony booth which i say booth i mean these are like you know usually a block and a half long with some of them multiple levels and stuff they had a couple of really cool things i wanted to show you one was this uh here's the car from ghostbusters and uh, they had a movie camera rig set up on a dolly and you could take turns and run the dolly and film and the back there is a set it's all lit up it looks like wet concrete but here's the bread and butter of the show for sony you guys this is the new sony car prototype and it was insane i just forced myself up there uh the big camera bought me some street cred and i just you know butted my way in front of people and tried to get a shot so we could see what this thing looked like there was a line to sit inside it looks awesome it looks really really cool and I would love to have one. So maybe they would like to. They weren't giving these away swag. They had some amazing swag out there. Here's a, another display here. We're kind of walking outside, actually. Uh, different sponsors for different parts of the complex. And here is the big sign. CES is over. And man, was it fun, you guys. It was huge. It was insane. This is but a tiny, tiny look at some of the coolest things, in my opinion. But there's so much more to do in Vegas, and we tried to do it, you guys. So in the evenings between uh, conference time and on Friday, our last day, we just went around and did some sightseeing. But the coolest thing we did 
was go to the Westgate Hotel and get a little private tour. Let me explain what I'm talking about. For those of you who love Elvis as much as I do, you will know that the Westgate used to be the Hilton, which used to be the International Hotel. And Elvis played there for many, many years, I believe eight years, and we had to go check this out. So here's the famous Elvis statue in the lobby, some posters talking about the performances starting with July 31st, 1969. And over in the corner here is the theater which Barry Manilow now plays at. And I wanted to take a peek back there behind those doors to see into that space, but they wouldn't let me do it. However, I was able to meet a fine gentleman uh, who worked with Westgate and gave us a wonderful exclusive behind the scenes tour and we got to go into the theater and check it out. Here is a spot where the king stood. Yes, Elvis would stand here and say a prayer before going on stage. That is the original surface as well. Now in this shot, you can see where the old stage meets the new. The new Barry Manilow stage is on risers right above that. Not only that, we got to go into Elvis's private elevator, and this is so exciting, you guys, down below into the green room spaces and check out behind the scenes where Elvis walked, including his private bar and green room area as well. This was so exciting. Back up on top here in this stage space that's had many celebrities, not just Elvis, but uh, Liberace, Barbara Streisand as well. He also took us upstairs where there's some exclusive photographs on display, which was so exciting to see. It was something that was so special and something I'll never forget. Thank you so much, Westgate Resort and Casino, for giving us this very exclusive and very special tour. Okay guys, so the conference is over and we are Ubering around Vegas right now. We're at a one of the many malls. Uh, this one's supposed to be huge. I heard somewhere it was the second largest mall in the world. Uh, it doesn't seem that big, but anyway, we're kind of in a secluded corner here. We're gonna go to a place called the Sugar Factory, so that ought to be pretty cool. Um, we're just trying to kill time. We've got a few hours before we gotta get over to the airport and uh, catch our plane, and boy, let me tell you guys, the trade show was huge. It was awesome. It was overwhelming. You know, we only had, you know, a very targeted, you know, range of things we were trying to see and we ran into so much more and it was awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show. It was a lot of fun putting together for you. Um, so I'm going to show you more along the way here as we get uh, headed back uh, to Denver, but I thought you'd like to see this. surprise you guys when I saw all those records there that was at the airport by the way I had to get a record so it was kind of pricey but I got this awesome awesome Rat Pack Live at the Sands which used to be where the uh, Venetian stands now look at the price I know it's expensive I do not buy a lot of new vinyl uh, but it's cool it's an official Frank Sinatra authorized release not a bootleg 280 gram uh, vinyl records in here have not opened it yet 
uh, but super, super excited. So I thought we would have to open it together because I want you guys to get the whole virtual experience, including opening up the gift, the souvenir at the end. With one hand, it's very difficult. Sorry I'm shooting so much of this on my phone, but I want the show to go up before midnight, or at least on the right day this time. That last show last weekend, I could not get that thing done. No matter what I did, I could not get it done. So I don't want that to happen this time. So sorry if it's a little shaky and weird, but that's one handy for you. So here we go, gate folds, so it ought to be cool in the middle. Awesome, look at the artwork. Beautiful, super, super cool. Lots of good stuff to read. This is the fun of records, you guys. Having pictures. Besides the music, you got pictures. You got stuff to read. You got all kinds of cool details. I'm really looking forward to checking it out. And that does it. We are sore. We walked miles and miles. We took some Uber. We didn't rent a car, uh, but we had a blast. And, you know, for me, the highlight, in addition to just, you know, giving you guys a backstage tour, was definitely, you know, seeing the technology. But who can forget the amazing tour behind the scenes uh, to, uh, to where Elvis performed at the Westgate previously, the Hilton, and before that, uh, the International. So an amazing, amazing opportunity, you guys. Hope you thought that was fun. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. I know this is a long show. Uh, apologize for it, but thank you for hanging in there. If you want to see more, check out the lives we did this week. We've got several lives. One of them was like 40 minutes long. We just walked the trade show floor, showed you guys all the latest and greatest stuff. So if you, if you want to see more and you haven't already done so, uh, check that out. I'll also create a playlist uh, for all of the, uh, all of the uh, CES stuff for uh, 2020. And maybe we'll make that a yearly thing. Would that be cool? I think it'd be fun. So uh, lots of cool stuff. A lot of secrets and things revealed, some of which I could tell you and show you, uh, some of which I couldn't, uh, but I've seen amazing things. It's going to be really, really cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Happy record hunting, and we'll see you next time.